I had the great, uh, great pleasure of meeting Orville Freeman years ago in his senior years. Some of you uh, who may be of my vintage may recall that Orville was the Secretary of Agriculture for John F. Kennedy. And uh, when I met Orville, I wanted to learn about how him and JFK sat down and strategized over agricultural policy and how they mapped it out. You know, I was a young policy wonk and I thought this was going to be a great story to tell my students. And he said, okay, here's what happened. He said, I was invited out to a party at Hyannis at, uh, at the Kennedy uh, uh, house. And uh, in the middle of the party, JFK called me in the house and he escorted me into one of the bathrooms. And one of us sat on the toilet seat, and one of us sat on the edge of the bathtub. And uh, he said, okay, here's the deal, Orville. I don't know anything about agriculture. We don't know anything about running the country. You keep me out of trouble with the farmers, and I'll keep the nation running the way it's supposed to. And the rest is sort of history for the short period of time that JFK did. I tell that story because I can imagine a a, a conversation like that between Obama and our new Secretary of Agriculture from Iowa. Now, maybe it's not true, and maybe Obama knows more than agriculture than I think he does, but uh, my suspicion is he's probably going to let uh, some other folks determine the agenda. The time is now. The timing is good. The people are in place that can make this thing happen. They're just working people. They're not mayors. They're not governors. They're not college presidents, they're working people who come together to talk about issues that are important to the state of Oklahoma. We're still together as a community. We're still together as citizens dedicated to making the future a better place, dedicated to each other to make it a success. We have one goal. We have one goal to still our Chamber of Commerce, and that is on December 31 of 2009, you have more in the till than you had on January 1 of 2009. Thanks to all of our sponsors who make this event uh, happen every year. This is our seventh economic summit. Thanks for being here.